Hello, welcome to the Thursday, November 7th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. It seems like there isn't a week where I don't cover some kind of story about how malicious software made it into the Google Play Store, despite Google's best efforts to try to prevent this from happening. These malicious apps are often discovered by endpoint security product providers, of course, somewhat also advertising their goods. Well, Google now actually recruited three of them, ESET, Lookout and Symperium, to assist them in helping them secure the Play Store. The idea is that Google will take technology from these companies and integrate it into their Google Play Protect detection system. That's the script they're running to filter out malicious applications before they're being published. One of the big sort of differentiators between Google's Play Store and Apple's App Store is that Google relies pretty much on sort of automated technology, not on an actual human reviewing the application. So hopefully by adding these new companies to the mix, they will have a better chance of weeding out some of the bad actors. And the Zen project released six advisories addressing vulnerabilities in its virtualization platform. Nothing too super critical here. There are a couple of privilege escalation vulnerabilities that could allow code that's running in a guest to actually affect the host, a couple of denial of service vulnerabilities as well. So certainly something you should address if you are running Citrix for virtualization, well, it's Zen based, so you should refer to the corresponding Citrix patches. And remember how Wireshark recently dropped the old and outdated WinPCAP library that's no longer really maintained and replaced it with NPCAP? Well, there is an important security update now for NPCAP. Doesn't appear to affect if you're just using Wireshark, because apparently the bug is being triggered if you're using the NPCAP loopback adapter to actually send packets. In this case, if you're sending back a malicious PCAP file, it could be used to execute code inside the Windows kernel, giving, of course, full elevation of privileges. This is a little bit an obscure vulnerability. It does have quite a few dependencies, but I don't think you really should sort of discard this vulnerability and definitely address it because one way you may use NPCAP is in particular on a Windows station that an analyst uses in order to, for example, experiment with packet captures. And then this vulnerability could very well be exploited by some malicious PCAP that's being replayed. And we probably all have received some of these tech support scam calls by now. And uh, well, some of us may have chuckled at them trying to pretend that they are a Microsoft employee and tell us about some Windows error, even though you don't run any Windows software. One key trick for the scammers, of course, is always to figure out what software you run and what particular call pretense will work best for you. Well, Trend Micro apparently had an issue where an employee did sell customer data to tech support scammers. This, of course, then allowed these tech support scammers to contact customers with specific problems for software that they may have owned. This is, of course, a pretty dangerous scenario, but uh, remember that sometimes the bad guys also just get lucky. They may call you about some random piece of software, and yes, they'll call 100 people, and you're the one that just happens to own that software and happens to have experienced a somewhat common problem with it. And along the same lines, uh, today SANS also released the November edition of the Ouch Security Awareness newsletter. This month, Lenny Seltzer is actually talking about how to shop online securely. 
big topic, of course, with the upcoming holidays. Again, this newsletter is typically sort of for the average consumer. So something great to share with friends and family. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.